They didn't see me, and I didn't confront them right away. Instead, I watched as they laughed and shared what appeared to be an intimate conversation. My heart sank. I took a few pictures with my phone and left, feeling like my world was collapsing. Welcome to the Hallid Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video caught my wife with another man, the shocking truth revealed. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and the land of many people's bad choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. What do I do? Help, please. Did I trust my wife too much? Last week, something happened that I still can't fully comprehend. My wife, Lisa, and I have been married for five years. We've had our ups and downs, but I always believed we were solid. I was wrong. I can't tell you the number of stories for men that begin with the classic, we had a great relationship, but... Lisa recently befriended a man named John, whom she met at the gym a few months ago. Interesting. How is it they meet them at the gym, at work? There's a pattern here, it seems. At first, I was fine with it. John seemed like a decent guy, and I trusted my wife completely. However, Lisa started spending more and more time with John, and they would go for runs or grab coffee more frequently than I was comfortable with. Slap to the back of the head. The moment you felt uncomfortable, you should have sat her down and told her she is starting to act like she's single and you have reached the limit of your comfort zone. You do not have such relationships with other women, not in her presence, and you require the same. Now, being a woman, she will E. coli test you by calling you insecure and attacking your manhood. Do not rise to the bait. Make your expectations clear, and if she's in that conversation, makes it clear she will do whatever she wants, in that moment, you need to accept. Your relationship is probably over and start making plans to protect yourself. I have read too many personal accounts which begin this way. Yes, this is what is called a double bind. Damned if you do and damned if you don't. I would, however, record that conversation because you may need it to prove her premeditation down the road. Lisa started spending more and more time with John. They would go for runs and grab coffee more frequently than I was comfortable with. But I didn't think too much of it until last Tuesday. How many times, guys, have we heard the I didn't think too much of it come back to bite some poor bastard on the ass. Lisa was scheduled to go on a work trip to a nearby city and was supposed to be gone for three days. On the first night, she texted me to say she had arrived safely and was having dinner with colleagues. I was happy to hear she was enjoying her trip. Later that night, I decided to grab a drink at a bar near our home. As I walked in, I spotted John sitting in a corner table. And to my shock, 
Lisa was with him. Okay, now, let me point something out here, guys. She was so sure of herself and that he was such a clueless dumbass that she would go to a bar near their home. Not only is this the height of arrogance, but think about it. What does her action say about what she thinks about you? They didn't see me, and I didn't confront them right away. Instead, I watched as they laughed and shared what appeared to be a very intimate conversation. My heart sank. I took a few pictures with my phone and left, feeling like my world was collapsing. High five. That was the right play to make. Never confront a cheater until you have all your ducks in a row and the bridge doused in fluid ready to burn it. Now, personally, I would have swallowed my pride go to a lawyer and play the long game, and go scorched earth. I'm talking audio, video, and everything I can get, then storm the beach like it was Normandy in a devastating confrontation that shows no mercy. But hey, that's just me. When Lisa returned the next morning, she acted as if nothing had happened. I confronted her with the photos and she broke down, admitting that she had been seeing John behind my back for months. She confessed that they were planning to run away together during this work trip. I was devastated. I kicked her out and filed for divorce the next day. I've lost my trust in people and I don't know how to move forward. I guess this is my life now. Thanks for letting me vent, Reddit. It feels good to get this off my chest. All right, high five. You handled that like a goat. The goat as in greatest of all time and showed far more mercy than I would have. What she did how she did it was the height of disrespect on top of infidelity. That is why I would give my lawyer the green light to get more evidence and then, when the time was right, drop a nuke. By the way, check out my video, Why Women Blame Shift, Point Fingers for Their Own Poor Choices in Men which may help you understand this behavior better. I also put a link in the description box below and see the black box above to click on. Update. Hey Reddit, I wanted to provide an update on the situation I shared last week. First off, thank you all for the support and advice. It's been a rough few days, but I've taken some of your suggestions to heart. After confronting Lisa and kicking her out, I decided to follow through on the advice many of you gave. I informed her family and mine about what happened. I wanted them to hear the truth from me rather than from any rumors or distorted versions. High five. Pay attention here, guys. Never let her control the narrative to friends and family. More often than not, she will lie, make you out to be the bad guy, and not take accountability nor responsibility. Therefore, do not rely on them to do so. Blast out what happened and include some proof to back it up. This way, if people still side with her, they do it knowing the truth. Additionally, chances are her married girlfriends knew and covered for her. In controlling the narrative, 
you give their husbands a head up to look hard at their own relationships. By the way, if the roles were reversed and she was writing this, I would have said many of the same things and take the same stance. I started with Lisa's family. It was a gut-wrenching conversation, but I felt it was necessary. They were shocked and honestly pretty supportive. They didn't know the full extent of what Lisa had been doing and they were disappointed. But they also offered to help me navigate this mess. Good move on the chessboard. And the fact they were supportive speaks volumes to the level of respect they have for you since they saw you as a good catch for her. Then I told my family. My parents were heartbroken, but offered their full support. They've been there for me, helping me process everything and ensuring I have a support system. Telling both families was emotionally draining, but also somewhat relieving. I felt like I was carrying this burden alone anymore. It's been a whirlwind and I'm still dealing with the fallout. But having my family's support makes it a bit more bearable. I'm now focused on moving forward and taking care of myself. Thanks again for all the advice and kind words. I'll keep you updated if there are any more significant developments. I'm sorry this has happened to you, my brother. Your story is a basic lesson on what to do. You did most things right and far better than most. I suggest you see a counselor to help heal and to isolate what is it in you that you were attracted to a cheater. What blind spots did you have that caused you to miss the early warning signs during the courtship so you don't repeat them again. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. So unburden yourself by sending me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.